If you're new to oil painting, here are a few tips to get you started. I'm mixing a neutral color to get started with ultramarine blue and transparent oxide red. You can use any color you'd like. I'm using water mixable oil paints for this, so I'll be using the Artisan Non-Toxic Thinner for this. If you're using water mixable oils, you could use that, or you could also use water to thin your paint. And if you're using traditional oils, you can use Gamsol or whatever thinner you normally prefer. Using a short flat brush, I'm going to dip it in some thinner. I'm adding a little bit of thinner to my mixture to make it nice and thin. I'm now going to apply that color to the entire canvas to create something called an imprimatura, which means basically a toned canvas. Because I'm using thinner and not oil for this, it will dry fairly quickly. Here you can see how the surface is glossy and smooth looking. Now I'm going to use a technique called wiping out to remove some of the darker areas to create some lighter values. I'm removing some of the area from the top to create a lighter value that I'm going to use as a skull. I've added a bit more paint to the belly and tip of my brush to create some darker layers. Hold your brush parallel to the canvas. If I add too much thinner at this stage, you can see that it actually picks up the paint and creates an almost bluish color underneath. Don't panic if that happens. You can always just add more paint on top. Sometimes I'll use a cotton bud to remove some of the paint. I've continued with that method, adding a little bit of paint and then taking it away to create a landscape. And now I'm going to show you a technique called tonking, which is named after an English painter named Henry Tonks. You can use a piece of paper for this, but I'm going to use this little bit of shop towel, and I'm going to look at an area of the landscape where I'd like to add a bit of texture. So I lay my paper onto the canvas and I press it down a little bit, just like that. And when I take it away, you can see that a pattern has been created. And now I'm going to teach you a technique called scraffito, which is Italian and it means to scrape. You can use lots of things to do this. The end of a paintbrush, a palette knife, a toothpick. I'm going to use this tool that has a rubber tip. And I'm essentially just going to scrape into the paint layer to remove some sections. I want to create something that looks a bit like flowers here. And I'm just taking a fan brush to feather it out a little bit so that it's not quite as harsh. And you can see here now that in 20 minutes, with just two colors and a few techniques, we've created this little landscape. 